Hi everybody, welcome back to Pronunciation with Emma. In this video I'm going to be joined by a very special guest. Her name is Sabra and she is one of the teachers from Love English. Today we're going to be talking about vowel-vowel linking which will help you sound more native, more fluent and also help you understand native speakers a lot better. Firstly though, before we get started, if you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're interested in improving your British accent and pronunciation, or if you're just a big fan of the British accent, then consider subscribing to my channel. I post weekly videos about pronunciation and accent, and from time to time some grammar as well, some vocabulary, some slang, it just depends. But I focus just on British English, mostly pronunciation and accents. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, consider subscribing and also hit the bell notification icon as well to receive notifications every single time I post a new video or I go live. Hello Emma's audience, I'm Sabra from Love English with Layla and Sabra and we are also an English language teaching channel. We have lots of videos with grammar lessons, pronunciation lessons, vocabulary lessons and also we teach business English and academic English. We hope guys that you will come and visit our channel. The link is somewhere down here in the description box. So we look forward to seeing you on our channel as well. Thank you very much for having me on your fantastic channel, Emma. Let's get going with the lesson. Now today Sabre and I will be talking about vowel-vowel linking. This will make you sound more native, as I said earlier, and it will also help you understand native speakers so much better. There are three rules that we're going to talk about. Sabre is gonna cover two of them and show you some tricks. And also I'm gonna talk about the final rule and that's pretty much it. Firstly though, we're gonna to listen to a conversation between Sabre and I. It is a telephone conversation and I'll be highlighting some of the linking here. Then after, we'll explain the rules for that linking, we'll practice together, and that's it. Let's go. Hey Sabra, how are you? Hi Emma, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You know, I went to go see the new Lion King film at the weekend and I cried at the end. Can you imagine how embarrassing that was? Oh no, my friend saw that and she also cried at the end. So don't worry. We also saw a show at the theatre on Friday evening. Oh, I haven't been to the theatre for about two or three years. How was it? It was great. I definitely recommend it. We had so much fun. Ah, sorry, Sabra, there's someone at the door. I'll give you a ring back in a minute, okay? Okay, no worries. I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye, Emma. So, the rules for the W and Y sound when they intrude in English. Now what we mean by this is that they appear in the middle of two words. Not necessarily in an exaggerated way, but in a way that we can hear them. And if you want to speak correctly and sound like a native speaker, then you need to start inserting them. So basically when a word ends in a vowel sound and the next word starts with a vowel sound, either w or y will appear in the middle. Now w tends to happen when we have sounds like ow, oo, u, that is when we will often get a w sound in the middle. So the more rounded vowel sound. So your mouth will be more rounded, more like oo, oo. <laughs> now the y sound will appear for vowel sounds like i, e, e, i, oi. So there we will often get a y sound in the middle. Now Emma has a great tip that she shared with me on this and I really really love it. She said that basically that the vowel sounds which cause us to smile, so like e, i, e, our mouth is, is wider, it's in more of a smile. This is where you will get that y sound. So remember it like that guys. Smiley vowels, vowels that make you smile will actually make you get that y sound in the middle. And for wa, it will be a more rounded shape of the mouth, like oo, ow. In the conversation I had with Emma, I said, how are you? How about you? How were you? How about you? Can you hear that a wa sound intrudes? How were you? How are you? How are you? Another example was, 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Again, can you hear that w sound? Who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? Who is? Who is? You will hear that w sound. Now let's look at y. Some examples from Emma and I's phone conversation would be she also cried at the end. She also, she y also. She also cried at the end. And that is because we have that e sound, that smiley vowel. She also cried at the end. Another example would be why am I the last one? Why am I the last one? Why y? Why am I the last one? And that is because we've got that I sound. Why am I the last one? Another example would be I ate the apple. I ate the apple. Can you hear? There is that little y sound in the middle. I ate the y apple. I ate the I ate the apple. I ate the apple. So now you know two of the rules. Let's talk about the final one. This one is when we're linking with a r sound. Now you may come across the terms linking r and intrusive r. Today I'm not going to talk about the difference. I want to save that for another video. Today I'm just going to talk about sounds. Now if that first word ends in r, or, er, uh, ear, er, or ua, or uh, I always miss that one. <laughs> then we link it with a r. But remember, the next word must start with a vowel. It doesn't matter which vowel it is, the important thing is the ending of the first word. So Sabra said, we also saw a show at the theatre on Friday evening. Notice that with saw a, I don't say saw a, I say saw ra, because saw ends with one of those vowels. And Theatre on Friday isn't pronounced like that, is it? It's theatre on Friday. Theatre on Friday. I add that r. As well, I also said, I haven't been to the theatre for about two or three years. For about. For about. So I'm adding that r there to make it easier to transition to the next word, which starts with a vowel. Some other examples are law and order. I don't say law and order, I say law and order, law and order, or flower and water, flower and water, flower and water. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, also don't forget to subscribe to Sabra's channel as well, where she has some great videos all about pronunciation grammar, vocabulary, pretty much everything you need. So if you're a big fan of British English, go and take a look. She also covers a lot of academic English as well, professional business English. So if you're interested in that as well, and that sounds like your cup of tea, go and check out her channel. It is linked in the description below. Thank you so much for having me on your channel, Emma. And guys, we have a video on our channel on silent letters, which Emma also features in. So join us now, move over to our channel. The link is below to watch a video all about the rules of silent letters. Shh. So now we've looked at, so you've already looked at wa and ra. No, you've not. 